This recipe has few extra steps to it, but trust me, I promise this will be the very best meal prep item you'll ever make. So let's get started. These are the things that I am using for kebab. You can always, always, always switch up your vegetables. I am using cauliflower instead of potatoes and mixed greens which have kale, arugula and spinach. Start by letting your greens sit in a pan for about five to seven minutes. Make sure you covered it. Keep your life simple. Use a blender instead of a food processor. Add all your greens, your green chili, garlic, ginger, onion, mint, everything in the food processor except for your cauliflower and paneer and give it a good blend. Make sure it becomes a paste. I have used food processor here, but guess what? I am just gonna transfer it to a blender just like that and make a paste out of it. Make sure you make a good paste out of it and just keep it aside in a bowl where we're gonna mix our other ingredients. I am going to use my food processor to grind my uh, cauliflower and squeeze all the water out from your cauliflower before you add it to the bowl. Make sure there's no water. Okay, let's do the same with the paneer. Uh, with the paneer, I'm adding handful of almonds just to give it a crunchy taste. I like almonds in my kebab, so I'm just adding it. You can skip this uh, step if you want to, but let me tell you, this will give you a really nice taste, so don't skip it. All right, time to add everything together and making some kebabs. Add your cauliflower, your paneer, almond, and spinach together, giving it a mix. Binder, I'm using three tablespoons of chickpea flour or basin, two tablespoons of flaxseed meal, and one and a half tablespoon of psyllium husk. You're gonna mix it all together, and for spices, I am keeping it to the basic salt, red chili powder, garam masala, and coriander powder. Very simple. You can definitely add more spices to it. There are gazillions out there, like kebab masalas and all that stuff, so you can use whatever you want. I kept it to the basics because this is something my kids also eat, so I'm gonna keep it simple for them. Let's roll out some kebabs. Take a little bit of oil on your palms and just take a little bit of the dough, make a hole. This step is optional. I just told you that I like almonds and nuts in my kebab, so I'm filling it in the center and just rolling it into a flat, uh, round-like shape. Let me show you one more time, keeping it very basic. Just fill it up, close it, roll it, and put it on a plate. I baked all the kebabs at 375 for 20 minutes, flip them over, and then bake them again for 15-20 minutes until they were golden brown from both sides. They were super crispy and super delicious, and look at that, they had almond in the center, just like I like them. Enjoy them with your favorite side. I made some beetroot chutney, and I loved it.